<laughs> that season you were selected for the NBA All-Star game uh, as a replacement for the injured Steve Johnson of Portland. Uh, though yes. afterwards you were quoted saying that personally I don't feel like I deserve to be there, but Commissioner David Stern chose me and I can't afford to insult the commissioner. Uh, yeah. What were the reasons for, for such a mindset and for you making that comment? Well, you know, I, I think even even at that point in my career, even, even though I was a good player, I, I'd never considered myself a great player. Uh, you know, I, I was a good complement to the great teams we had in Dallas. Uh, I never was called upon to score 20 points a night or to, you know, do anything that I couldn't do. Uh, and I just kind of uh, didn't feel like I was all-star worthy because when I thought about NBA all-stars, I thought about, you know, the James Worthies and, and the Magic Johnsons and the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's, the Patrick Ewing's, uh, you know, being coached by the very best in, in uh, uh, you know, Pat Riley and in, in all these great coaches. Uh, and that's what I always thought an all-star player was, somebody who was putting up you know, 20 points a night, 10 rebounds, uh, you know, just doing those things night after night after night. Uh, my career, you know, I was doing 11 points, 12 points maybe, and, you know, 9, 10 rebounds a night. Uh, so I, I felt I was pretty pedestrian and average as a NBA player. I always thought that way. I mean, I knew I was valuable and valuable to my team. But I didn't have the overwhelming statistics to throw out there. And even now when I get together with the guys, you know, they're always talking about how great, uh, you know, these great games they had and these great careers in high school and college and the pros. And I really have very little to talk about most of the time, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, I can say I was good, but I can't really quite say I was good you know, doing 20 points and, and 15 rebounds every night. And so that, that always played with me, you know, that, uh, and when I got the acknowledgement, uh, to make it to the NBA all-star game, I remember telling my coaches, uh, you know, Dick Mata and, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember who else was there. Well, Richie actually, Adubato, I guess. Richie, yeah. Richie Adubato was there. I'm trying to remember if Dick was still coaching then. Dick, Dick retired shortly after I, two or three years I was there. So I don't know if, if Dick was there. But I remember my coaches and, and the management. Uh, Rick, Rick, uh, Rick Sund was the general manager. Uh, talking with them and, and letting them know I really didn't feel worthy and didn't feel like going to Chicago to participate in the NBA All-Star Weekend. Mark Aguirre made the all-star team also. So the two of us were representing Dallas. Um, you know, they had a nice talk with me and they reassured me that, hey, James, if you weren't worthy somehow, uh, you wouldn't have been acknowledged this way. You know, there's there's a lot of other big centers in the league that they could have picked. You know, Mark Eaton was around, Kevin Duckworth in the Western Conference, Wayne Cooper. So we had a lot of big, big guys that they could have picked. And uh, they chose me. And so I guess after talking to those guys, I felt a little bit better about the selection. And I went ahead anyway and, uh, you know, had, had a wonderful time up in Chicago. Uh, Michael Jordan was the MVP, of course. And uh, it was just a great, great experience. Well, I think that's the thing, uh, that, that Mark was the only representative of Dallas at, at the game, you know. Because I, I, I took a look at the, the stats and, and, and the situation, and I, I think the thing is that the Western All-Star team basically had four small forwards in, in Aguirre, English, McDaniel, and Worvey. So so there were basically eight perimeter players and, and only three bigs after Steve yeah. Johnson gets taken out of the picture. M Malone was the only power forward for some reason. So obviously Stern needed a, another uh, big for the All-Star team, and then... There were some guys with, with good stats and bad teams. And, and then there's guys like Danny Shays and, and AC Green, but they already had uh, two teammates on the All-Star team. So, so basically it, it left either you, uh, Roy Tarpley, or, or Sam Perkins as, as your team ended up winning 53 games. And, yes. and I, I guess, I guess, it, I guess uh, David selected you as, as the center who is anchoring, anchoring it all. But yeah, now, now I'm just rambling. <laughs>